Starfield is just over a month away and I'm excited. Like, so excited. I've got to have every molecule. Okay, maybe not that excited. Here's five reasons you should be excited too. Let me know what feature you're most excited about in the comments below. Starfield is the first new IP from Bethesda Game Studio in 25 years, and while that in itself is something to be excited about, I have five other things here to get you even more hyped. There may even be a bonus reason at the end. This is one of the most exciting new features that Bethesda are bringing to Starfield. With the ship customization, you can pull apart your entire ship and replace all of the parts. From loading up a small vessel with lasers and thrusters and becoming the deadliest pirate in the sky, to boosting your light speed engines and storage space to become a long haul space trucker. Maybe you just want to build the most busted Optimus Prime you've seen outside a Michael Bay movie. With Starfield, you are limited by your imagination and the in-game credits you have to spend. They also confirmed you can hijack enemy vessels to take them over and add them to your fleet, so there are plenty of opportunities to create the most badass armada in space. Something Bethesda are best known for are their RPG elements, and Starfield looks to carry on this tradition. Their brand new skill system is split into five categories. Physical, Social, Combat, Science and Tech. As you play, you will earn XP based on your playstyle, which will further increase those skills. Say you want to talk your way out of every situation? The more you do this, the more adept you may become at avoiding a fight. Maybe a fight is what you're after, and time spent getting those headshots will help you become an elite marksman. The skill tree will also link into your next reason to get excited. Along with the skill trees affecting your playstyle, so will the backgrounds and character traits. As you create your character, you'll be able to select their starting background. Each one will have free starting skills for which to start with. You can then expand this more with character traits. While these traits are optional, they will offer further expansion on the kind of character you are in game, with both positive and negative results. Why not choose wanted? This will give you a damage buff, but you will be randomly attacked by bounty hunters trying to kill you. My personal favourite sees the return of the adoring fan from Oblivion. This will see him joining your crew and giving you gifts. However, you will have to deal with him incessantly and creepily talking to you. Luckily, there are ways to remove these traits in-game. From Skyrim's hack and slash to the Fallout VAT system, combat has never been a strong point for me in Bethesda games. This all looks to be changing now, however, as the combat in Starfield looks incredibly fluid. From the way different weapons will affect you in Zero G, to the smooth FPS gunplay they've shown in the preview footage. This looks like a completely revamped combat system and one I'm excited to get my hands on. Alongside the various weapon types they've shown and explosives, this looks to be a ton of fun. Bethesda have always been a big supporter of mods in their games, going so far as to create an open marketplace in the Creation Club with Skyrim and Fallout. This will continue in Starfield, with Todd Howard confirming in a previous Reddit AMA that full mod support is coming. I look forward to seeing what the community do in this world, with Bethesda confirming only about 10% of the planets will be inhabited, with plenty of space for the modern community to go wild. Personally, I'm excited to see a planet full of Macho Man Death Claws, even if I won't stay there for long. As a gift for sticking around until the end of the video, here's a bonus reason to be excited. Sandwiches! Let me know what's got you most excited for Starfield, and until next time, happy gaming.